Hey there everyone, it's Yaken here from Trend Ground. Welcome back to another review video. So today we have here is the Proton Saga. I know some of you may know this as the MC2 and the third generation of the Proton Saga line up at the moment. So this is the top spec variant, the uh, Premium S. I think this car definitely offers a really vibrant and young feel for the users. So I will elaborate more as I go on in the video. But I'm not going to waste any more time. We're just going to do a quick walk around on the uh, exterior and the interior of the car first. Now let's go ahead and start off with the exterior of the car first. So you do notice that the uh, top spec variant it has a little bit more different. Okay. So in terms of the grille, yeah, you do notice the uh, red accent over there. And this red color on the Proton Saga do look really amazing. Now, for this top spec, it also has a uh, parking sensor as well. And then there is a daytime running LEDs as well. So I kind of like it. So this one has a little bit of uh, body kit has been uh, installed onto it. Nice, gives a little bit uh, sporty feel onto the Proton Saga itself. And as for the rims, 50 inches, I kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I think the tires, if you want better grip, you're going to have to get a uh, better tire brands, okay? But this one is just quite sufficient enough for your daily ride, for sure. So as we move along to the side, you can see there's a uh, side skirting as well. Nice. Like it. And for the side mirrors, they are in the uh, piano black over here. Looks cool. And then for the uh, driver door here, so you have one button for locking it. So I'm going to show you. Yep. So you can lock it. And then as we move along to the back, if you really see the overall of the car, very similar to the previous model, not much of a different. Yeah, minor, minor changes. Only now at the back here, you have the uh, Proton wording. Quite nice. Yep, and the exhaust at the left rear here. Yeah, pretty much straightforward. And let's check out the uh, rear boot space as well. So the key fob over here, you can actually open it, but you need to hold it for quite a while. Now for the rear boot here, you also can uh, fold the rear seats so you can have more access and put more items especially long items yeah so this is very convenient for those who are using the car to load long or heavy objects here is the driving seat of the proton saga for me i think there's a lot of ample space and the sitting position is actually quite comfy as well though the driver's seat here everything is manually adjusted uh, quite simple straightforward okay so if you want to like go back go front it's quite easy everything convenient is easy if you are someone that is not so get used to manually adjusting the driver's seat you might find it a little bit hassle but for me i'm okay i'm good so you also have a start stop over here cool so the doors here you control the side mirror and all the four window panels as well. The doors here also have uh, speakers as well. All four doors get it as well. Now for steering, ergonomics here is quite nice. I like it, uh, very neutral, very straightforward. And for my height, five feet seven, yeah, I actually able to uh, see what's up in front of me. Uh, wheeling angles for this car is actually quite pretty good. Right now, I'm going to start up the car and let you check out how does it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the startup for the Proton Saga. So for this Premium S variant, you have a uh, push start stop button over here. So yeah, it's very easy, very convenient. And uh, if you really ask me about the overall of the interior, I kind of like it to be honest. So if you really see from the panels, definitely what actually strikes your eye is the uh, red panels on the air conditioning. Yeah, I kind of like it. They do look sporty for sure. So for the Premier S variant over here, it has the uh, 7 inch floating display over here. Which works quite well kind of be happy with it so i'm gonna lower the volume because i scared it might play my music from my smartphone anyway let's get back to the uh, steering wheel here so the steering wheel pretty much uh, straightforward so you can adjust the uh, infotainment of volume you can uh, play the uh, phone calls you know you want to pick up the phone calls very easy yeah so you want to play radio yeah by pressing the mode and then you can also go to bluetooth music as well yeah it's only change these two items right and as for the steering wheel itself i think it's a very uh, basic straightforward one uh, nothing much to be uh, complain much or to praise basically it's light feel as well yeah that's one important thing so it's really felt nimble when you are taking corners so that is excellent now the meters here they are analog with uh, the middle screen is digital yeah pretty much straightforward so you can uh, check out like your average how much fuel tank it can uh, still go all right and then you can change the trip a trip b and then you back to normal over here straightforward nice now let's come back to the center console over here so this console over here, you can uh, control a few things. First, you lock the door here. Yeah, not bad. I kind of like it, but I do wish that they have like an automatic locking system. So right now, everything, whatever I'm relying, if I want to close all the doors, I need to press a button. So I always have to remember to press the button to close it and I need to open it back it's just the same thing okay so apart from the uh, door locking button so the next one this one is allow the uh, aircon to do some uh, suction okay and then this one your usual emergency lights this button for you to turn off the traction control if you really need to you need to hold it for a while and then the dash meter will show it and then that's the uh, parking sensor over here to control and meanwhile for the air conditioning here uh yeah buttons are actually quite clicky i like it quite easy as well air cons are very cold as well good to report on that and then you have the uh, power socket over here with the uh, usb type a port over here this one for you to connect to the infotainment yep and then as we move along there's actually ample of space here one two and then two cup holders over here and for this gear lever mm, for me i felt like a little bit oh a bit the design but functional so there is s mode as well i like it and yeah pretty much for the uh glove box uh space is just okay ish and yeah pretty much straightforward to be honest and for these seats they are semi leatherets yeah so there's a mixture of leather and fabric as well so they do feel very comfy uh lumbar support is just okay quite good okay to be honest no qualm about it and then if you move up over here you have the uh, light controls over here okay so you can uh, turn on the light 
And then you have a um, mirror. Cool. For the drivers, yes, you do have also a mirror and also a uh, card holder also. That's nice. Yeah, so basically that's the uh, front part of the Proton Saga. Also for me, I think the speakers for the Proton Saga is actually quite good for its price point. Okay, so right now I'm putting in the volume at 13. So I already blew connected wire Bluetooth uh, with my smartphone. And I'm just playing a hey, YouTube right. video. Here from Ground. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact gameplay with today's device. Yes. The Lenovo Tab P12. So it's already available for the Malaysian market. And we are just going to check out the uh, device. So for me, I think the audio from the speakers, they sound loud. And if you have a lot of like kind of bassy sound, you like those kind of bassy sound, yeah, it does actually produce quite a good bass effect as well. So now let's go for the drive experience. A little bit detail on the 1.3 liter engine. Okay, so according to the official figures from uh, Proton, the engine is actually developing 70 kilowatt at 5750 rpm and for the torque a maximum of 120 newton meter of torque at 4000 rpm now driving this car is actually very convenient uh, also largely thanks to the new four speed automatic gearbox it's very convenient to uh, do your daily drive very fun very easy very straightforward you know and as for like normal cornering handling, it's also actually very, very nice to take corners. You see? It's quite nice. But one thing I like to uh, give a very good high praise is how it takes corner taking the bumps and the braking system as well. It's very, very good. So right now, I'm going to head out of this uh, park. I'm going to show you like how is the daily drive with this Proton Saga. You will be amazed. Trust me. So I'm going to take a little bit of a big road here. We just gallivanting a little bit and you do notice that like, the drive is very smooth, very quiet, the air conditioning is good. Hardly you want to find anything to uh, complain about. And it takes bump quite nice as well. I think the suspension setup here is great. So let me just go out and you will notice like what I am going to be saying. So now I'm going to go out of the park, brake, 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 wait for the bikes out. So I'm going to turn on the signal first. And as we go, yeah, it's quite good. But for me, I feel the car if you want to have a spirited drive, everything must be above 2000 RPM. At least 2500 RPM. You do feel the rush is coming in even more intense. So yeah, for those who love to drive fast, you need to rev it up a little bit more as expected from the 1.3 liter engine. But if you're just doing some normal driving, most of the time, you will be in the rear range around like the uh, 2000 RPM, maybe slightly above when you really need to like overtake some of the slower cars. But most of the time, I'll, I leave it as around the uh, 2000 RPM or maybe just let it roll on. It felt really, really nice. So as you can see, I'm going through some of the bumps. 
it's quite good. It absorbs the bumps very well. That is something I need to give a quick praise on to it. So just now, I mentioned to you all guys, this gearbox has S mode. So now I'm going to go into S mode. Okay, but while I'm in S mode, there's a bump up overhead. Check it out again. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to take a break here. Okay. Very good. Very good. So that is the uh, S mood. S mood will allow you to rev a little bit more higher, get the car into the speed. For some who might say. So now I'm gonna wait a while and then I'm going to uh, do some revving. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, the car build its speed way above 2500 RPM. Even right now, I'm in the S mode. So, you see. Yes. But to be honest, even if you're not in the S mode, you're driving in the D, it still feels very good. So after the traffic light goes green, I'm gonna do a quick short burst acceleration and we will see how sporty does it actually feel during the S mode. Okay, pretty quick for a 1.3 litre, yeah. But then now, I'm going to shift back to D, and I'm going to take a long straight here. So now I'm practically driving around the highway. Yeah, this car feels good if you just want to do a normal cruising. Right now it's jammed a little bit, so I'm braking. Feels very comfort. Yeah, overall the drive package here is very nice. I like it. Nice. So for me, my uh, average mileage right now is actually 8.9 liter per 100 km. Hey, this is involving with high revs and a lot more. So if you are someone with the uh, light footed, expect it to go around like maybe perhaps in the area of like uh, 7 to 8 liter per 100 km, I think slightly below is even possible if you are doing daily a lot in the uh, highway driving and less jam area. But overall, kind of love the package what is being offered over here. Really hard to complain about it. And yeah, quite impressive drive experience with the Proton Saga. So it's time to wrap things up for this Proton Saga review with my final verdict. So actually, I think with the price point of this car selling at 44,800 ringgit Malaysia, it actually delivers a lot of things. My God, for so many things that's being offered over here, yes, I understand why this Proton Saga is the best selling model for Proton themselves. And the drive itself gives a really young and vibrant feel onto it. Every time I just step into the car, I just drive, I feel young and vibrant. Seriously. Yes, it's just only a 1.3 liter engine and you definitely have to rev it up for the power itself. But for normal usage, it's adequate enough. And if you are someone that is trying to own a smaller CC engine and you're still new to driving a car, 
or perhaps your parents just want a sedan and you don't want to blow your budget this is the car for you you know the car whether you want to just drive from a to z a to b i do not know where you want to go yeah for your daily drive or perhaps just a spirited driving once a while yeah this car actually delivers it yeah i'm quite impressed there are things to nitpick for sure but given that price point it's hard to argue so much what is actually delivering and with that highly recommend this car for those who are actually still considering it uh, in their buying list go and get it and if it's possible go and test drive it really the uh, feel of the car just wow blow my mind to be honest and for rating oh i have to give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10 takes most of the boxes it's only that if you just want a car that is powerful and you want more bigger size you want to fit in a lot of people then this is not the car for you all right but for just the car for everyday usage this is the one okay yep and with that that's the proton saga review from me okay hopefully you guys love it and uh yeah special shout out thanks to proton for providing this loan review car for review purposes however there's no cash compensation whatsoever therefore there's no final approval or creative input by them they're watching it at the same time and uh, yeah this review is also being done after a drive experience for several days yes several days and then i done the video for you guys okay and this video is not easy to be made shot everything alone please appreciate the work here and if you're still new to the youtube channel please go ahead subscribe and uh, if you really really love this video please uh there is also super thanks treat me some coffee money okay treat me some coffee to be honest i'm okay with it as long you are showing your support to the channel i'm going to produce more content and i'll keep on improving it all right so with that bow out and you can hear I'll catch you guys on the next content, alright? Peace.